Um, in this video, we're going to look at Inkscape assets and a couple of ways to adjust them. Um, one is by altering the the way that the um, the asset looks in plan. You could also do it in elevation if you wanted to do that versus 3D. The other is linking a um, Revit model to an Inkscape asset. So um, <clears throat> let's do the first one. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my um, asset library for Inkscape. And let's go to furniture, since that's what we're working on. And I'll um, scroll down and pick something, um, maybe something a little simple. Um, how about this footstool? OK. And I'll come in and I'll place the footstool here. I just placed it in the in the plan, um, but it's not showing up. So I'm going to go to you can see the error message down there, and let's go see if planting is not turned on, and that is what the um, Inkscape material assets come in as. So you can see now you can see the Inkscape like a little plant there and a couple of people have come in and then here's a little poof and <clears throat> it's not the best looking piece right like it it's okay but some of them can get really messy like the people are not super attractive because they're all um, you can see all the triangulation so it is possible to pick this guy and edit the family right so it's going to open up that family and if I go to the reference level Right, I can do a couple of things. One is I can come in and I can actually change it to the furniture family. So I can come in and click on this little family category and parameters. And instead of planting, I can put it on furniture. Right, so if I scroll up and pick furniture and click OK, now it'll recategorize itself as furniture. And the other thing I can do is I can come in and put a um, masking region um, in front of this um, and Let's see, if I go to annotate, I can go to a masking region, right? And I'll just draw a circle, you know, from here to here. And maybe you want another circle. So I'll just go to, um, and I'll hit check. And then I'll do annotate again. And this one, I'll just make a symbolic line and it'll do it under furniture. And I'll draw another circle from here to there. Right, um, and then what I'll do is I'll pick the poof, the three-dimensional part of it, and I'll go to visibility settings, and I'm just going to turn it off, right in plan, and click OK. And then if I load that back into project, right, and overwrite the existing version, you get that, right? It removes the poof part and it puts the um, the 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 region, the masking region in its place. But if we look at it in 3D and let me just move it over to here so we can so we can see it. If we look at it in 3D, it will still be the poof, right, that you see from um, from Inkscape, right? The other thing that is nice is now I can come in and select these guys, which are Inkscape assets, which are on planting, which is weird, and just go VH for view hide. And now this is on the furniture, right? It's not on that. So you can definitely do this. Like this is a very quick way that if you're using Inkscape assets, that at least in plan, you can get it to work. You can also close this guy up. Close this guy. Let's close this guy. And you could also come in, and here's the poof again. You could also go into your side view and your front view and do the same thing. So if I went to my front view and I didn't want to see this in front view, I could again go to annotate and go to masking region and do, you know, I'll do a rectangle from here to here and hit check. And then I'll go ahead and go to annotate and um, symbolic line and I'll just Actually, let's go to annotate and um, masking region, and I'll just do a line 
and I'll just do a line from there to there to there to there to there and then back across and fill that up right hit check and then if I pick this guy I can go to visibility settings and I'm right now in the front so I don't want it to show in the front and back right and so if I click OK and load that into project overwrite the existing version the front and back if I do a, um, a view if I'm looking at it from this in an orthogonal view so let's go to let's go to our plan where we have everything on right and if I zoom in let me see if I can get a um, do I have one that is let me just do a section so if I do a section and look at this guy let me flip it and look at that guy in front view right you'll see it'll substitute that but if I go back and look at it pick this guy and pull it kind of over here and look at it in the side view in the right left view it's still showing that other poof right because I haven't fixed it in the other view so that's an option if you want to do that um, the other thing that you can do we'll go over next which is linking a Revit um, family to a InScape asset